what is up guys so today I'm going to give you probably the most important tutorial of your life when it comes to um, recording your minecraft videos I'm going to give you the proper render settings you need to have your your video crystal clear without any blur and still have it 720 HD so this goes out to everyone out there that plays minecraft on a Mac and if you do play minecraft on a Mac and you record your videos you should use ScreenFlow I know it's a hundred dollars but personally I got it for free don't ask me illegal but <laughs> yeah this is ScreenFlow now this is a video I have not yet uploaded I made it like Saturday I've been lazy but I'm going to start from scratch here and I'm going to show you the correct settings you need to set when it comes to having a perfect video now I'm probably going to feature this video which costs money but it gets views because I want everyone out there to know. I, I, I know a lot of guys that use Fraps because they use Windows, but if you use Mac, you have to do this. So first you have a video that, you, you know, you just recorded it, you press stop, you add a few seconds, and this pops up. Now you're going to want to go down here and basically resize it and drag it until there's a yellow line. You will see that. It will automatically stop, and you will have to go up a lot to actually go up some more. But you're just going to stop the yellow line, and right here, there is no yellow line but there is right above that but you want, but you don't want that in there so you go, so you barely pull it down until the second it goes down you stop and you press apply and that brings it into the format of 1280720p but you're not done you go to file okay but first you you can make settings here like you know change the sound if you want but then you go to export i'm going to name this um one oh crap. One point eight pre release because this is a video about that. Now I have everything on here, but when you whenever you get it, it's going to it's going to say scaled by fifty percent to six forty by three forty six. You do not want this. If you do this, your video is going to look like crap. Literally, you're going to want to go to scale to custom size. And I already have it programmed, but I think it's around 640. But make sure it's 1280, and for the height, it's two. I mean, 720, because that one that is what makes it fit the screen when it comes to full screen or or even you know 720. Now, do not check the motion blur or letterbox content. You're going to want to go to customize settings, and whenever you get it, it should be on high. But for this, you're going to want to put it on medium. Now what this does, it doesn't take up as much space. And if you have it on high or best, it makes your video, you know, a really good quality. But every time you turn or you jump in Minecraft, it tends to blur the screen, which makes it really annoying. So you keep it at medium. It doesn't affect it at all. Make sure this is at H.264. That's how all the video settings are on every program. Make sure the current FPS is current. Keyframes automatic. Automatic, you just leave the rest alone. All you need to change is the quality to medium. Press OK. Now, filter, you don't need. Yep, yeah, I see it's just letters. You do not need. Go to size. This is most important. Whenever you get here, it will be right here. It, 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 will, it will basically have like give you the ability to customize it. You're going to want to click it and scroll down to 1280720 HD. This is what makes it HD on YouTube. This is very important. Press OK. Now for sound, if you're using the built-in mic like I am, the best thing to do is go to better. If you do best, it's like a huge jump when it comes to gigabytes because it's probably going to be about one gigabyte or two for like a 15-minute video. But if you do best, yeah, it takes up a lot. But if you but if you use if you're using a mic um, that you use to plug into the USB port, it'll be best to put in normal. But right now I have it in better because my mic is built in. Now for the target bit rate, this is set at 96 as soon as you um, check it. You're going to want to put it down to 192. Now what this does, it syncs your voice with the video, which if you know, it's extremely important. So please put it at 192. Now for the rate, it's already, everything else is already set. Press OK. Now this is checked, prepare for internet streaming. You want to uncheck that. Um, I found nothing about that. It hasn't affected me at all. I just think it's a waste. Now press OK. Now after all that is done, well, I think your video just changes itself, but who cares? 
you have everything you need to have a perfect video. Now you're going to want to press export. And uh, it's exporting. So I'll be right back right after this is done exporting and I will show you the next step. BRB! Hey what's up guys I am back and it is done exporting. It took about 10 minutes to export a 10 minute video but that's if you're not using the internet. So now you're going to want to exit out of that. Usually it will say save, you just save it. And then I have it right here and right here because I already did it. But now when you click it, open and turn up the volume, it should pop up with I use um QuickTime, so and here it is. And just fast forward. I thought they would be pretty rare to find, but I found one. And I found it about like twenty seconds. And there you go. You have your movie right here, and now you can export it to YouTube, or you can export it into another movie editing software. I prefer um, using iMovie just to export in there, and then I can just play around with it and then export it to YouTube. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I hope your Minecraft videos become better quality due to this tutorial. And if they already are in good quality, you know, might as well give this, give this, um, give this technique a try. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and spread the word. Everyone needs to know how to do this. See you later, alligator.